Hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video. Uh, many of you may have seen my last speed up which was called Electric Green. I received a lot of positive feedback on the video and a lot of people are requesting a tutorial, some on the background, some on the text. However, today's going to be a tutorial on all the layer styles uh, actually on the text. Uh, so I think without further ado, we'll get started. I've already made my logo uh, in this tab here. Uh, one thing before I'd like to get started, well, we'll say before I get started, is if you're looking to upload some tutorials or speed arts and maybe get some more recognition, uh, Chrome Tutorials is the place. Links in the description if you want to go check it out. Uh, you can just send a video in whatever, YouTube or Zshare, and I'll take a look at it and uh, see how it is. And I think that's all of that on that matter, so without, uh, let's get started. Uh, first of all, we're just going to I'm just going to make it green. Obviously, I use the electric green in the speed art. Uh, so I'm going to stick with colors and keep it green. Uh, so and the bottom color, I'm going to have a darker green as opposed to the top. So finding the right green, uh, maybe a bit dark green at the bottom, and obviously a light green, lighter green anyway, I should say, at the top. There we go. Click OK. Uh, having the right color green actually plays a big, big part of the whole text. Um, if, if it's a bit tacky green, it kind of depletes from the whole look. So you want to keep it professional. And also, I'm going to add an outer glow. I'm going to make it normal and black. And I'm going to add a drop shadow. And I'm going to change the spread to about 22 and the size to 30. And that looks good. Uh, click OK. And obviously, if I have a go back, uh, you see there's some borders around the text. Uh, there's two, so I'm going to make the first one there with a black slight border. Uh, so to do this, hold Control and Control on the layer, and it will select that view. Control or Command, uh, make a new layer, and go to Select, Modify, and Expand. Now this will expand the pixels onto the new um, onto the new layer. So make it 10 pixels and click OK and go to the fill bucket tool and I'm going to change, if I click D on the keyboard, uh, that will select the colors and the color palette on the bottom left uh, to black and white standard and I'll just fill it in. I'm open the app store. There we go. And so obviously that's overlaying on top of the text. That's because the layer is above the Chrome layer. Get off the app store now. There we go. And just drag that below the chrome layer so it sits behind it looking nicely like that. And obviously we're going to add a bit of gradient, create a bit of diffusion in there. I'm going to make a radial gradient, keep it symmetrical, and to go to reverse. And I'm going to change the white so it's more spread out. So to do this, just change the angle to zero. And OK. So now I'm going to change the black from a kind of solid black to a more charcoal dark gray. And equally, I'm going to change the white to uh, a nice dark gray as well. Not as dark as the original, obviously, it's a gradient for a reason. And again, we're just going to add an outer glow, normal and black, and a drop shadow again. And I'm going to change the settings back, and I'm going to keep the distance at 5, the spread to about 20, and the size to 30. Okay. And now also, we're going to make the third one, uh, the third layer, the kind of green grunge around the background. Uh, so we're just going to work on this. And so on the layer that you just created, I could command or control click, make a new layer, go to select, modify, and expand. And I'm going to make this one 15 pixels, OK. I'm going to drag it below that layer. And now again, I'm going to just fill it in with a black. And just go off it here. And so now you notice that there's kind of some scratch metal. So I've got the tab open here, uh, just ready to copy it in. So all I all I done on which simply was to get this image, uh, typed in scratch metal on Google. Uh, obviously, you can find it as well. If you don't want some scratch metal, you can have whatever image you want. Uh, just paste it in. And I'm going to go to Control T and go to the free transform tool, and I'm just going to scale it down just a little bit, like so, just so it fits in. Get a bit of an angle on it as well. There we go, click OK. So obviously that doesn't overlay, so to get it overlay, control, click Alt on the keyboard and over the layer. In between the two layers, you'll see a black and white circle to create the clipping mask. And that is looking good. Obviously we want it green, so to do this, on the layer they just overlaid it to, the text, double click, go to uh, Gradient Overlay, 
and change it make sure you change the blend mode to overlay so that may that means a color will overlay onto the image so you can see some of the original image as well as the color and i'm going to make it green so again i'm going to have a darkest green uh, find the right green here that's okay and the top green i'm going to have a slightly light green but it's still going to be darker get more there you go that's looking okay so just click okay and okay now again as usual we're going to follow the pattern add an outer glow uh, normal and black and equally we're going to add a drop shadow as well i'm going to keep the same settings of the spread being at around 20 and the size at around 30. obviously you can alternate these as you like and that's coming along good you know you've got the basic of the te text but there's not a lot of depth as you notice if i take a look at here uh, they've got some green highlights on the text so to do this just go on to the original chrome layer obviously it's going to be the top one and go to bubble and boss and untick global light and change the gloss contour to the rolling slope descending now obviously we're going to tone down the black completely because i don't want that in there and this will just leave you with the white highlights so change the highlight mode from white as it's quite harsh and i'm going to change it from the white to a lightish green so it stands out a little bit more okay and okay and that's looking good uh, it's not as in your face as the white and also to add a bit more depth add an inner shadow and I'm going to tone down the opacity to about 35% and that looks really good okay and uh, maybe one final thing yeah, I'm going to add a bevel and a boss on the back layer as it seems a bit flat at the moment so to do this I'm just going to double click bring up the uh, layer style properties go to bevel and boss and one thing I like to do I, well, I always take use global light and I like just like to skim through pretty much all the gloss contours and you know see what looks good and I actually found that this one looked quite nice obviously not at the moment so you need to tone down the black you don't want that in there you just want the white highlights around the side and that's looking good obviously you can change the blend mode from normal as well and you know you can have it whatever color you want red if you red or whatever color you want I usually like to stick to a light green nice soft baby green there we go click OK and OK and that's pretty much the text and all its glory that's how to create the effect Obviously, you can change these layer styles as you wish. This is simply how I use them. Uh, but anyway, that's all for me, guys. I'm in Conroe Chrome Designs. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to remember, if you want to upload your tutorials or speed arts, check out Chrome Tutorials HD. And I'll be sure to take a look at them there. Thanks for watching this video, Conroe Chrome Designs, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.